Hi everybody, this is Travis. This is gonna be a different type of video than what I'm normally doing. Um, usually you're gonna see me on my channel doing uh, power sports demonstrations and reviews uh, for my dealership. This is more just for fun. Um, I just wanted to go over a Christmas present that we got our kids that um, myself and all three of my kids really like. Um, this is the Toy Box 3D printer. I'm not gonna do a quick setup or anything like that. There's plenty of those types of videos out there um, and I watched several of them. Some of them, to be honest, kind of scared me and, and made me uh, question whether or not I should get this. Um, I just wanted to say I am a total novice 3D printer um, user and obviously so are my kids. And so this has been really easy to use. Um, there may be, you know, better printers for the price point. Um, you know, this is around a few hundred bucks. Um, I don't think there's gonna be a better one as far as user interface and ease of use, um, and ease of setup, that sort of thing. So if you're a professional, this video is probably not for you. Um, if you're one of my power sports customers, unless you've got kids and you're interested in 3D printers, uh, this probably is not gonna be the video that you're interested in. Um, obviously I'll keep doing those types of videos, but I just wanted to give a quick um, how to and show you some of the tips and tricks that we have learned. Um, we've been using this printer for a few weeks now and we've got about 150 prints on it. And uh, these are just a few little things that we've printed. Um, the kids have most of the stuff um, <laughs> all over the house, um, in their rooms and whatnot, and they've been printing stuff for their friends. Um, I just wanna show you a few things about the printer. So this is the magnetic bed that just slides right on. I've got some painter's tape on there. And there's been uh, people tell me on the Facebook forums um, that you should. Some people say that you should not. Um, we have found that um, putting painter's tape on there um, just makes the print stick easier. Um, and also you're gonna have less uh, failed prints using it. So we use it all the time. We use it a few times and peel it off and uh, put a new one on. I'm gonna share a link. This is the painter tape that I found on Amazon that is four inches wide. So you can see, I'm basically just sticking it on top of the mat. So this is the magnetic part, this is not. So I'm just putting the tape on there, um, obviously sticky side down against that top part of the mat. Um, some people just use the mat itself. I just haven't found that to be very easy. Um, some people will use, you know, alcohol or um, even like nail polish remover to clean the bed. I've just found that for us using the painter's tape um, just makes our prints stick the first time. We have less shifting and less failed prints. Um, if you really get into, uh, you know, 3D printing in general, you may end up getting a you know, bigger, better printer um, after you start off with this one. Um, this one's just super easy to use, um, good price point. I'm gonna leave a link. Um, it's actually gonna be my link to the toy box. If you haven't bought one yet, you're thinking about it, don't let those other reviews scare you. Um, it's super easy to set up. Um, there's a little bit of calibration you can do. Um, some people are gonna tell you that using the painter's tape is cheating and I am all for it <laughs> because it works. Um, but if you have to do a little tinkering, this one's probably less tinkering than some of the um, more advanced machines out there. So if you use my code, it's gonna give you $30 off the toy box if you order directly from toy box. Um, I'll share the link below um, on the bottom where the description and comments will be. And then sharing that code um, is just gonna give us bolts. Bolts are what Toybox uses in their app for premium prints. Um, so something that's like copyrighted, like this little guy right here. Um, so for the most part, most of the stuff you print on there, uh, most of the stuff you see here, you can print without the bolts. So you don't need them. You don't need to spend extra money in the app or anything like that. You can use lots of free stuff. You can actually, before you buy the toy box, go to the toy box app and you can see what you can print for free. So I'm gonna share a link to, um, so like I said, the tape, the toy box itself. Um, so these are all printer food or filament um, that I bought from toy box. But these, I'm gonna move my iPad. These containers here, I actually got this recommendation. I'm not sure uh, who posted it originally, but I got it on Facebook and that's the brand there. Um, I got the recommendation on Facebook because someone on the Facebook forum, which I would suggest 
joining that Facebook group if you decide to buy one. Um, there's a lot of really helpful people in there and even some of the people that have created um, some of the prints um, are gonna be on there. So that's pretty neat, but somebody posted on there that these containers um, fit perfectly, five of those spools, and they do. So obviously um, we've got multiple colors there. So I bought two of them now. Um, and what you do is um, that's basically just vacuum sealed. And then I've got these little uh, gel packs in there. Um, if you've already got some of those, then you can just use yours. If you have a container that these will fit in, obviously, or you have painter's tape, you can do all that. But um, I'm gonna leave links to all that stuff. Um, essentially, what I have learned is that you are not supposed to let this stuff get wet or even humid. Um, the filament will uh, clog your machine if it um, gets damp. So that's why I've got them inside of there when I'm not using them with the uh, silica gel just to keep them dry. The other thing you'll notice if you look at some of our prints that are single colored prints, um, we've got some color on them and I'll leave a link to these. So I've got some thinner and some thicker um, paint pens. The kids have had a, a lot of fun um, putting their own unique designs on the prints. Uh, but now I just want to show you, um, other than using the painter's tape to print to, um, another thing that I found helpful is uh, I'm going to start this up. So you can either go into the app and print something, or what I'm going to do right now is just click food. If you click food, that's going to heat it up. And that's going to allow you to either take this filament out or add a different color. So in other words, um, once you've got this taken out, which you don't want to just yank this out, you want to wait till this warms up. It's going to say you can either insert or remove. So you will click either button after it's done warming up. Um, so obviously when you click remove on there, you'll gently take this out and it's heated up so that it will let you remove it. Then to insert it, you're going to put a new spool right here on the back. You're going to feed it in here. You're gonna push insert once it's warmed up, and then you just kind of help it in there as you push insert, it'll go a little bit. And what I do is I'll push insert about 10 times. Um, that's gonna get a bunch of stringy uh, food out of here. It's going to get your previous color. So like right now I've got yellow. If I change to a different like blue, then you're gonna see yellow for a little while until it changes to blue. But also what I've found is kind of priming that nozzle um, by inserting several times. Um, we'll make it so you don't have a failed print because you don't have enough filament on the first one. When you do start printing, um, so right now it's showing the insert and remove. When you do start printing, it's gonna warm up the same as it just did. And then this bed is automatically gonna raise up. When it does that, right before it raises up, I use a little pair of scissors and just snip off the excess. I understand that uh, some much more expensive printers may have something called like an auto wipe function that's going to do that same thing. But essentially, if you leave that um, while it's warming up, it's going to keep getting, um, I don't know if you can see, it's going to keep getting longer and longer. And be careful, obviously, I'm not touching that nozzle because it is hot. Um, but it's going to keep getting longer and longer. And if you wait until your print bed comes up and starts printing on here, um, what you're going to have is that first string is going to be dragging across your bed and it will probably ruin the first layer, if not make the uh, entire print fail. So um, that's just something that we've realized that if you just snip that right as the bed's raising. So um, right now it says insert, remove. I'll hit print here and you'll see that circle will fill up when it's almost full or full and the bed is starting to raise or just before it raises, snip that off and use the painter's tape and you will have a lot less failed prints. So we've printed, like I said, over 150 prints now and uh, we've had very few failed since we do those. You'll notice it still says insert or remove. Um, if you leave it on food, that's what it's gonna do. It's gonna stay heated. So I'm not gonna change the yellow. I'm just gonna show you guys. I'm gonna start printing. Um, so this is the Toy Box app. If you click on like this little flexi lizard and hit print me. It's going to show beaming down. When it's done beaming down, it's gonna to start to heat up. Because I already hit food before this, it's gonna be 
uh, heat it up very quickly. If you don't um, hit food ahead of time, um, after it's done beaming up, this circle is gonna take a while to fill up. This one's already full, so it's gonna start raising here in just a second. Obviously, oh, and I just lost a little chunk there. Obviously be really careful when you're trying to trim that extra piece. Um, looks like mine is good since I had just trimmed it and then that little piece fell off. This is what it looks like when it prints. You can see right now it's not laying down anything. It should start to in just a second. And most of the prints will have that right there. So that's not part of the lizard that I'm printing. That is uh, more of like a print skirt. And that's trying to also get your extra gunk that was dripping down um, before you start printing so you're not dragging that through your print. So it's already starting to print the first layer of the lizard. The skirt looks great, um, which that's not that big a deal. If the skirt starts late and there's only half of it or something like that, don't worry about that. Just be looking at your first couple layers. And even the very first layer, sometimes they look kind of wonky. Um, just let it print a couple layers and watch it. And you'll be able to tell after a little while that it's working or if it's shifting or doing anything funny. You can always hit cancel. Um, like this particular print um, is, I think, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes, something like that. I forgot to look. Um, but I just want to say, you don't want to wait until you're 30 minutes into a print to cancel it if it's failing at the very beginning. So um, you don't have to babysit these totally and just watch it the entire time. Uh, but I definitely look at it during the beginning and this is looking really good. Um, so you're going to have some imperfections. 3D printing, um, especially on, you know, this basic of a model, it's not going to be perfect. You're going to have little flaws. When you're done, you're going to peel off little strings and things. Um, I don't know if you can see this is just part of our jeep um the jeep is a really cool one um ours is in pieces right now because my kids keep breaking it i need to reprint some of the clips and put it back together i don't know if you can see any of this but yeah like this one here you'll see a couple little strings that could be cut off um, you could even get a little uh, screwdriver or something maybe chip off some of that but it's not perfect but they're super cool little toys and uh our kids just love them and they're already wanting to print them you know, and give them to all their classmates. Um, it's just a really fun hobby. We have, uh, like I said, been doing this since basically Christmas and we've printed over 150 things. So I highly recommend the toy box. Um, if you're more advanced, you may not want this, but um, if you've got kids and you guys just want to start, this is an awesome printer for, you know, a few hundred bucks. It's, it's really neat. So the uh, Flexi Lizard is getting close to completion. Looks like it's printing good without any issues or flaws. It'll show your little print circle is almost done. Um, on the app, it'll actually show how much time is left. So this is showing a, about a minute and a half left. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like when it comes off and how to take it off of here. So that is what the printer is gonna do. And it did just uh, alert me in the app that it's completed, but that's what it's gonna do when it's done. The print head is just gonna move out of the way. Um, what you don't wanna do is grab this and yank down. You'll bend it and probably put it out of calibration, if not damage it. What you wanna do is kind of push gently on the back and it's just gonna fall right down. You can take your little magnetic bed off. Try to show with one hand. This is flexible. So just work this around to pop them off of there. So I bent that back and forth for a minute to get them off. They do stick, so you'll see where the tape is raised. You'll wanna peel off and throw away the print skirt. Um, this painter's tape, you could smooth it out, or what I typically do is just peel this back, uh, bring it back to here, and then smooth it down as you put it back. Um, you can use that piece of tape a couple of times, uh, maybe two or three prints. If you're doing a big print, um, I would just do a new piece each time. That's why I use the big roll. When you get the uh, toy box, you'll actually get like, I think two or three if I remember, um, just stickers that are exactly like that painter's tape that will go right on there. Um, so when you run out of those, instead of having to buy them, um, just get a uh, big giant roll of painter's tape like this, and that way you can just keep making your own. This is the little flexi lizard here. Some of the flexi stuff 
Um, you really need to work them around a little bit to get them broken loose if there's any little strings. Um, the Flexi Lizard, you really don't. He's moving around pretty cool. Um, but some of the bigger stuff you might have to. Um, just be gentle. I mean, these things are, the more flexible they are, the more prone they are to breaking. You know, be gentle taking it off of that tape. Um, but for the most part, you know, the smaller ones like this, it's, it's moving super easy. Another thing I thought I would mention is if you don't use the painter's tape and you clean that bed, um, especially with like acetone or nail polish remover, um, the bed eventually will start to fall apart is what I've seen um, on the forums. And so you'll have to replace it. Right now you can't buy these magnetic beds on Toy Box's app. Um, this is just after Christmas that we got this. So they're sold out of a bunch of stuff. I'm sure they're getting ready to restock any time now. Um, same with the printer food. If you look on there right now, and you know, depending on when you watch this video in the future, um, if it's really right after Christmas, they may be sold out of some printer food colors um, or like that, the mats. I'm sure they'll restock soon. So just keep an eye on their website. Um, by the time you're watching this video, they might've already restocked everything. So no big deal. The, the printer food from Toy Box is specific to the Toy Box. It's a PLA material. Um, what I have read is that you are not supposed to use other brand PLA, like stuff you can buy on Amazon. I have seen a ton of people on the Facebook do it. I have not ventured out to do that yet. Um, so, you know, use at your own risk. So far, I've just been buying the colors that Toy Box has in stock and we've been happy with those. Um, there's also all kinds of crazy stuff you can do. And like I said, you could buy a bigger, better 3D printer at some point too. Um, if we do that, we definitely will not um, stop using the Toy Box. We may just have uh, multiple prints going on at the same time. But again, the Toy Box um, printer food or filament, you can just buy directly from Toy Box. That's what you're supposed to use with this machine. Quick start videos, you might see some of this stuff, but I just want to show you when you get your Toy Box, this cable is kind of inside of there. Make sure that that's out and free. Make sure like your spool is spinning freely. Those two things will ruin a print if it's jammed at all. Um, the other thing I've seen is some people with a brand new one, there's lots of like foam padding packed inside of these rails and stuff. Um, when you unbox it, you'll see that on some of the unboxing videos. Um, just make sure you've got everything clear. Um, once you have everything clear, um, mine pretty much printed, you know, really well from day one. Um, with the painter's tape. So um, you may have to do some fine tuning adjustment. You can see that on the Facebook forum or obviously, you know, look at Toy Box's um, owner's manual. Well, the kids are supposed to be upstairs sleeping and this is Hadley, the oldest. Her little brothers are upstairs. Uh, the Toy Box printer has been uh, making a lot of toys for her, her classmates, as well as her brothers. Um, we really appreciate you watching the video. We hope you like the video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.